Hi friends, so last week we talked about one point perspective in drawing, and this week we'll be going over two point perspective. And if you haven't watched last week's video, you should go check it out. Now the rules of perspective are quite important to know if you're looking to draw realistically. Just for a little background, every 3D object has a height, length, and width, and with two point perspective, both the width and the length are being distorted by our perspective. So just to demonstrate this with some boxes, here's our horizon line and our two vanishing points on each side. And all of our lines are going to come out of either one of those vanishing points. So to make boxes, all of the height lines will be ver perfectly vertical, and all of the width and length lines will be going towards those vanishing points. Anything that's above the horizon line, you'll see the bottom of it, and anything that's below the horizon line, you'll see the top of it. And any object that goes in between the horizon line, you won't see the top or the bottom of it like this box on the left. To demonstrate this more realistically, I'll be drawing a kind of made up cityscape here. All of our height lines will be vertical and all of our length and width lines will be going towards one of the two vanishing points. Now this is definitely something that takes practice and it doesn't come to us easily because our brains know that buildings are built with right angles, but because of our perspective, these angles are distorted. So just make sure you keep practicing, use references when you can, and as you get used to it, it will get easier and you'll just be able to eyeball it eventually. So here I'm just adding my finalized building lines with a black pen, and then I went in to just do freehand detail just to make it look a little bit more realistic. I didn't use a reference for this, this is just a demonstration. And to make it look even more realistic, you can shade it. I just picked a side of these boxes to shade in, and that gives you kind of a light source. And I filled in with a little color as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and inspires you to paint something today.